Okay. So I've been working on this. I'm gonna get the tires that are on that and put on the and put on. Ugh, excuse me. This. But what I just did, flip the pulley over. <laughs> Turn on the light. So I love this camera. It has a light, which makes it so much easier. Because you can film in spots like this where it normally just appear black all up under here. But yeah, there's a peerless. Everything's fitting in fine. Except I lost one of the keys and really don't feel like going out and buying one. So I'm just going to like uh, turn on the macro. Like take this and cut it in half or whatever and make a key. Because it's thick enough. It's the right thickness. But yeah. Anyway. I switched that pulley upside down. It was kind of hard because it's all one straight tube, so I didn't have to drill out any, like, stops in it on the end, like most of the mowers are, which is nice. But I uh, took a this because it gets smaller. It goes down, yeah, find my finger. It goes in about this far, and then it just steps down just a little bit, like one sixteenth of an inch from one inch to, like, 15 sixteenths but what I did is I took this <coughs> and just sat here gr going around and around just inside of there just going like this working my way down and it, it um eventually grounded out to the point where it did this it only took like five minutes so it's all zoomed in but yeah that's the first step. I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to run it with like this for a little while and see how quick it goes. But cause Now I have motivation to get this in because me and my friends are making a movie. Like a feature length film. And we need this. This is a pulley that's going on the transmission. Looks kind of rough because I had to grind the uh, crankshaft off the engine to get it out. But it's cast iron. It's pretty good weight. I don't know the exact uh, measurements on it. So, yeah. I guess I can go show you the engine real quick that it came off of. Just a little two-stroke snowblower. Here's the sad old Montgomery Ward with its Briggs that I want to save. But i lazy to take it off this time of year. Okay. I'm back here in the pool barn. Oh, this is an engine that I need to make a video of. It's a 1966 Briggs two horse that we got on this edger for free. And it runs great, but it's hardly been used ever. We got the edger for free because it had a bad pull cord. But here's the engine. It was on here, as you can see. On a macro. I had to grind that off. And so it looks all nasty. It took like an hour and a half to get it off with a puller. It was a bitch. Excuse my language. I mean, it, it was... Never want to do that again. But... <sighs> never has run. I've tried everything. It just won't take off. But, yeah, this video is getting kind of long, so... Uh, I'll go back to work. Okay, bye.